This video is brought to you by jvjujitsuonline.com, the home to all JV Jiu Jitsu content, your source for strike based Jiu Jitsu. Check it out. Welcome to the Master Plan Lecture Series. My name is Javi Vasquez, and today we will be discussing strategical basics, differences in strategies, part one, a global overview. And the differences in strategies are pertaining to the traditional BJJ routes to a finish and my personal beliefs as to what route I believe should be followed. So let's go ahead and get started with this. Strategical basics, the differences in strategy, part one, a global overview. So what are the differences in strategies? Traditional BJJ mindset and strategies versus what I'm doing with a JVOS mindset and a master plan strategy. The global overview, first you start off in the guard. I think the guard is where the ground conflicts begin. So from guard, we generally will transition to side mount. And this is where the strategies start to separate. So from side mount, side mount is the central hub. From side mount, we transition to turtle. And from turtle, if necessary, we transition to back mount. So the whole strategy behind the master plan is to get to a chest to back position and then trap an arm and then finally attack the neck. Traditional BJJ strategy is a little bit different. You usually go from side mount, and they tell you to transition to mount. And from mount, sometimes a person will turn to back mount. So the first part is to obviously bypass the legs. Bypass the legs, and then you land in the central hub, which is side mount. And then you have a choice of choosing a twisting transition between either transitioning to turtle or transitioning to mount. The side mount to turtle transition is what I would consider an early twisting transition. And the transition between mount and back mount is a late twisting transition. Establish chest to back. Now chest to back are linked by a core ground position. Then you trap the arm and then you finally attack the neck. So that was part one of strategical basics, the differences in strategy. And this was a general global overview. In parts two, three, and four, we will discuss bypassing the legs, the central path, and the traditional BJJ strategies in depth. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you real soon.